Hey there, I've had a lot of people ask me uh, to do a quick video just kind of showing my Sublime Tech settings and any packages that I find useful. Um, and I keep a pretty simple layout, but I'll go ahead and show you what I have right now. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is my theme. The theme is pre-dawn, uh, and I love it because it also themes the UI, gives it a really nice look and feel. Uh, when I'm not using pre-dawn, I'm probably using Flatland or Dracula uh, for an actual theme, but I love the UI theme that pre-dawn gives you. Um, another thing that I use is Git Gutter. Uh, Git Gutter is, uh, da -da -da, is a package that I love because it kind of, as you can see over here in the gutter, it's going to show you your GitHub changes. If you've added some lines or if I've made changes to this, it shows up as uh, blue for changed or red for removed. Super, super cool. So you can see the diff real time with your GitHub stuff. Uh, definitely love Git Gutter. Um, I also use Emmet for code completion. That's probably the one that some of you guys have seen and wondered what that is. That just basically allows me to go div class special. Ah, uh, sure, whatever, special. And then it's all, and hit tab, and it's automatically going to complete some stuff. Some other stuff you can do with Emmet. I'll put a cheat sheet uh, URL in the description, but you can go div special, um, and then I don't know, put an H4 inside of it. Uh, you can also do plus. For a sibling to that H4, super cool, and then you can tab through and automatically fill it out. So when you get good with Emmet, HTML is a breeze. Uh, some more complex stuff you can do is you can have it number stuff. I can go li times five. I'll actually have it go li id, uh, sorry, panel, and then number, which will actually do the number of it times five. So now I got panel one, two, three, four, five. Super cool. If I didn't like that, I could do dollar dollar, and it would do two digits. Um, numbers there. So then it'd be panel 01, 02, 03, 04, 05. It took me a long time to realize that Emmett could do that. I really like that Emmett does that. Uh, you can also wrap stuff in parentheses. Uh, so I can go a div with a UL li times five, and I can do times five of those. So now I've got five ULs with five LIs in it. Sometimes with Sublime Text, you'll get this weird quirk where you hit tab and nothing happens on that when you're doing the wraps. And you'll see down under here, a number keeps clicking. You have to hit tab like 10 times. It's just a quirk that happens sometimes. Most of the time it works. Um, and I haven't quite figured out when it doesn't work, but just in case you run into that. Um, another cool thing with Emmet is there's a lot of cool shortcuts with Emmet that I don't have memorized. But if you hit Control D on a Mac, it's going to automatically select everything within your current tag, so you can easily condense stuff or delete stuff. Uh, so that's Emmet. And then honestly, let's see we Git Gutter, my theme. I do have like a custom tiny little Bash script uh, where you can go sub. And then open a file in Sublime Text. As you can see, I use it all the time, even as I was preparing for this video. So I could go sub index.html, and it's going to open index.html, or sub main.js. Yeah, and that, that I use all the time. Uh, once again, I'll put the video link to that in the description for how to put that bash script together. Very, very useful. I end up using that thing all day long. Um, and then I just use, honestly, some Sublime Text hotkeys, you know, like Apple D uh, for multiple cursors, you know, to be able to change stuff. Um, you know, you can easily do Apple D. Um, Apple D also has this thing, Apple K, where you can skip a selection if you want, um, which is very useful. Uh, what are other Sublime Text ones? It took me a while to realize Control Apple up and down is going to move any line up and down through your stuff. Super cool. I'm sure that's probably different on PC. Um, I do have a cool cheat sheet that I'll also add to the description for that. But once again, that's Apple Control up and down. I use that all the time. It just moves your line up and down. Um, you can also use Apple Brackets to change your indentation instead of Apple instead of Tab and um, Shift Tab, which Tab and Shift Tab work great when you're on multiple lines selected. But if you just want to indent your one line, Apple and then your your brackets. There you go. Your left and right brackets will indent whatever line you're on. Uh, use that one all the time as well. And honestly, that's about as complex as I do with Sublime. I mean, it's got kind of its basic things. A lot of times I won't use the sidebar and I'll just use Apple P. 
uh, to hotkey back through my recent files. I'll use Apple P and Enter to go back and forth between two files. This is kind of basic Sublime Text stuff. I don't know if you guys know that or don't know it or not. And Apple R will take you through all the symbols in your files. So Apple R can take me to the init function and to the method function. Um, but that's about it. That's pretty much as complicated as my Sublime setup is. Hope it helped you a little bit. And honestly, if you have great stuff, I'm all ears. I'd love to see it. Uh, comment below. I'd love to hear any great tips you guys have found as well. Have a great day.